This presentation is on aromatherapy and how essential oils can be used as natural therapeutic agents to treat a variety of illnesses and behavioral issues. My name is Benjamin Pierce. Many people think that scented candles are aromatherapy. Uh, while they look nice and provide a beautiful ambience and smell well, uh, they certainly don't uh, elicit any response physiologically from the body. You need essential oils for that. Essential oils are complex, highly fragrant, and volatile substances with varying degrees of complexity, fragrance, and volatility. They're the most potent and concentrated extracts of various parts of flowers, fruits, leaves, spices, roots, and woods. The plant's essence molecules are approximately 75 to 100 times more concentrated as an essential oil than they are in the dried plant. Uh, the essential oils were really what the ancient people had for medicine. They were used by healers to treat a multitude of symptoms. A single oil can contain hundreds of constituents that are molecularly aligned in exactly the right manner to trigger a number of responses in the human body. Essential oils are stored in minute quantities in special cells, ducts, glandular hairs, and plants. By giving the plant its aromatic essence, they're also intended to give the plant its life force. They also protect the plant from parasites and disease and play an important role in fertilization and assist in the plant's adaptation to its environment. There's several primary functional groups of types of essential oils. The monoterpenes, esters, aldehydes, ketones, alcohols, phenols, and oxides. Let's briefly explore each. Monoterpenes. They have antiviral, antiseptic, bactericidal, and can be highly irritating to the skin. Examples of monoterpenes include lemon, pine, and frankincense. Esters. They're fungicidal, sedating, very aromatically pleasing. Examples are bergamot, clary sage, and lavender. Aldehydes. Sedating and antiseptic. Examples are melissa, lemongrass, and citronella. Ketones. Ketones ease congestion aid the flow of mucus, and can be toxic. Examples are fennel, hyssop, and sage. Alcohols. Alcohols, as you know, are very antiseptic and a viral with uplifting qualities. Example, rosewood, geranium, and rose. Phenols. Phenols are bactericidal and strongly stimulating, but can be irritating to the skin. Examples of phenols include clove, thyme, and oregano. Oxides. Oxides are a can, have, can be expectorant and bactericidal. Examples of oxides are rosemary and tea tree. Quality is really important. The FDA requirement for labeling a product as, as pure only has to have 5% of the product. There are three main grades of essential oils. Grade A are those oils that are organically grown, no alcohol, synthetic solvents, or extenders. Grade B, non-organic, may contain solvents, has two or more chemical constituents falling outside of international standards, and grade C contains alcohols, solvents, or extenders, essentially perfume quality. If you want any type of a therapeutic re response from the body, it must come from grade A essential oils. Well, the Europeans have set quality standards for determining when uh, an oil is therapeutic grade. That's, that is grade A. Therapeutic grade A oils must meet ANFOR and ISO standards. ANFOR is the Association of French Normalization Organization Regulation, and ISO is International Standards Organization. Essential oils can be extracted from a variety of material, including plants, wood, citrus, bark, roots, petals, lilac, and leaves. Extracting essential oils uh, can be done in two ways. Um, to obtain the essential oils, the aromatic essence molecules of the plant must be captured by using either a technical steam distillation pro process or cold press extraction method. Um, many of the uh, uh, finer plants are used in steam, but most of the citrus is all done by cold press of citrus skin of the oranges and grapefruits and whatever citrus plant it is uh, because the oils are contained within the, uh, the peelings. 
In earlier times, the art of distillation was held in the hands of a few and was considered to be an alchemical transformation of the spirit, a bridge between two realms. Essential oils are, are found and produced all over the world. Um, for example, in Oregon, uh, they produce chamomile, clary sage, and peppermint. Mexico is known for its vanilla, uh, Brazil for its eucalyptus and rosewood, Spain for its cypress, fennel, rosemary, and sage, Tunisia for rosemary and neroli, Somali, of course, for uh, frankincense and myrrh, Madagascar, ylang ylang, black pepper, clove, cinnamon, vanilla, India is known, of course, for its jasmine, sandalwood, and patchouli, China for eucalyptus and ginger root, and Russia for fir needle and clary sage. Again, be careful. There's many people who produce essential oils and you need to buy them from a reliable source that are deemed grade A in order for them to have any therapeutic value at all. So what is aromatherapy? Well, aromatherapy is the art of using essential oils to benefit your physical, spiritual, and psychological well-being. Traditionally used for fragrance or promoting health and well-being or for use in worship to promote relaxation and spirituality. Aromatherapy. Well, this is how it works. Fragrance is the essence of long-term memories. One whiff of a childhood aroma can set in motion, you know, bringing back thoughts, faces, and feelings long forgotten. You know, I still remember the smell of my grandmother's cinnamon buns that she made, and every time I smell a cinnamon bun at, uh, at the mall or in a bakery, it reminds me of my grandmother. Um, fragrance actually consists of volatile molecules that float around in the air. Millions of olfactory receptor cells line our nose, and the aroma causes these nerves to fire and send messages to the limbic area of our brain. Messages travel to other parts of the brain, activating thought and memory. The pituitary gland is also stimulated to release chemical messages that travel via the blood to glands and organs that create physical body responses. So aromatherapy is used to increase sensory stimulation, encourage self-esteem, and work against a sense of isolation. It also is assisting with the positive associations with touch, remote memory, activities of daily living, and stabilization of functional levels. Aromatherapy provides opportunities to communicate non-verbally and provide meaningful activities for caregivers and residents. Aromatherapy specifically will enhance reminiscence, mood retrieval, retrieval, and also provide mood stabilization. And that's a beautiful nutmeg plant. So uh, before knowing we smell an aroma, our subconscious mind receives and reacts to it. Aromatherapy can benefit stress-related problems and promote a positive state of energy, health, and well-being. Aromatherapy can be provided in large and small group settings or even one-on-one. -on -one. Aromatherapy can be used in hand and body lotion and also placed in foot and body baths. The following oils are typical uh, for assisted living. They include lavender, lemon and citrus, peace and calming, which is a blend, purification, which is a blend, valor, and thieves, which are both blends, and rosemary. Let's go through each and explore how they affect our body. Lavender has a fresh, sweet, floral, herbaceous aroma that's soothing and refreshing. It's great for winding down before bedtime, yet has balancing properties that make it just as beneficial for boosting stamina and energy. Therapeutic grade lavender is highly regarded for skin and beauty. It may be used to cleanse cuts, bruises, and even skin irritations. Lavender oil has been uh, used as a treatment for agitated behavior and severe dementia. It is used with hospice patients to decrease pain and anxiety and depression uh, at end of life. And it's also used to treat geriatric patients with chronic insomnia. I would say this is one of the best essential oils that is available for people um, in assisted living. Citrus Fresh. Citrus Fresh is a blend. It's a relaxing, calming blend, uh, rich in the powerful antioxidant D-limonene. It supports the immune system and overall health while bringing about a sense of well-being, creativity, and feelings of joy. It also works as an air purifier, and it's actually good as an appetite stimulant uh, if you uh, diffuse it into the air prior to a meal. And it's very emotionally uplifting. The ingredients of this blend include 
orange, tangerine, mandarin, grapefruit, lemon, and spearmint. Peace and Calming. It's a gentle, fragrant blend. When diffused, it helps calm tensions and uplifts the spirit, promoting relaxation and a deep sense of peace. It's used to moderate the effects of sundowning uncombative behaviors. I've used it many times on um, floral lays or even put it on a tissue and put it in a gentleman's pocket. Uh, and while uh, it uh, eased his behavioral issues, uh, it's a, it has a very distracting and pleasant smell. The ingredients of this blend include tangerine, orange, ylang ylang, patchouli, and blue tansy. Purification. Purification can be used directly on the skin to cleanse and soothe insect bites, cuts and scrapes. When diffused, it helps to purify and cleanse the air from disagreeable odors. Um, people who have become incontinent, this is a great oil to diffuse into their rooms because the urine molecule smells like urine because it's configured in just such a way. When the purification uh, oil uh, attaches itself to the molecule, it changes the chemical composition of the urine molecule and renders it odorless. So, um, and also it, it, it uh, kills bacteria uh, that uh, inhabits the, uh, the, the urine as well. It's a wonderful oil and it includes the, um, the components of citronella, lemongrass, rosemary, malacca, lavender, and myrtle. Valor. Valor is an empowering combination of therapeutic grade essential oils that works with both the physical and spiritual aspects of the body to increase feelings of strength, courage, and self-esteem in the face of adversity. It also has been found to help the body self-correct its balance and alignment and is emotionally grounding, it promotes calm, and helps overcome fear. This particular oil is particularly useful for people who are brand new move-ins, who are a little teary and feeling uh, alone and uh, so it, it helps promote them calm uh, environment and is emotionally upbuilding. Uh, the ingredients of this are spruce, brutansy, frankincense, and it's in a base of almond oil. So anyone with nut allergies, you do not want to use this oil with. Thieves. Thieves was created based on research about four thieves in France who protected themselves with cloves, rosemary, and other aromatics while robbing plague victims of the bubonic plague. Uh, Thieves was tested at Weber State University in Ogden, Utah, and found to have a 99.96% effective rate uh, against airborne bacteria. And in assisted living, we use this uh, when other people are sick and they're all uh, in a common environment, uh, and uh, we diffuse it into the air to, uh, to help sterilize the air. Uh, the ingredients of this blended uh, oil include clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus radiata, and rosemary. Rosemary. Rosemary has a fresh, herbaceous, sweet, slightly medicinal aroma. It's an energizing oil. It may be beneficial for help uh, to restore medical alertness, men mental alertness. Um, also, it's, it's good when uh, people experience fatigue. It's helpful with lung, chest, and sinus infection protects uh, acetylcholine, and it's also a very powerful antioxidant. So there are many oils that are stimulating and uplifting, and there are other oils who are relaxing and sedating. Uh, samples of the um, examples of the stimulating oils are clary sage, peppermint, rosemary, mandarin, lemongrass, bergamot, jasmine, orange, melissa, and grapefruit. Uh, the relaxing or sedating oils include lavender, uh, chamomile, majorum, pettigrain, rose, neroli, geranium, juniper, sandalwood, and ylang ylang. So how is it absorbed? Essential oils can be absorbed in several ways. Through our sense of smell, of course, through our skin, even as a dietary supplement. Uh, but it's most readily absorbed by the skin. The aroma is absorbed through our nose to the brain where memory, hunger, moods, and even sexual responses are evoked. Before knowing uh, we, we smell an aroma, our subconscious mind can react to it. Aromatherapy can benefit stress-related problems and provide a positive state of energy, health, and well-being. So how do we use it? Well, just like the dog, let's see. Will it be spray-on or roll-on tonight? 
Aromatherapy can be diffused into the air, and this is a diffuser uh, in the picture adjacent. Uh, it all come, also can be put into a humidifier, so you don't have to buy a diffuser. You can put it right into the water of your humidifier, and it will be diffused into the air. It can be spritzed from a spray bottle. It can either be put on a business or cardstock. If you put it on a business or cardstock, it has a tendency to last uh, you know, two or three days. But if you put it on a washcloth or a tissue or cotton ball, uh, it'll only last two or three hours, depending on what you want to accomplish with it. I generally keep some essential oils, usually the Peace and Calming, on a business card in my car, and uh, it has a tendency to, uh, to, to last for three or four days. Inhalation. Uh, well, on a tissue, you only want one or two drops. Remember, less is more. On a basin of steaming water, one drop per cup. It can be diffused on a tabletop in approximately in, in close proximity, five to ten drops, but in a room diffuser, you're going to put about ten or fifteen drops. In a lamp ring, uh, ten to uh, five to ten drops uh, in a small amount of water, uh, two to five drops if it's directly on the ring. Now, lamp rings heat up. Um, because of the radiation from the light. Uh, and I'm not sure that, that s some uh, of these essential oils are very delicate and could cause them to denature and, uh, uh, and impact the therapeutic effect of the oil. Dilutions in water in a foot bath, two to four drops. In a bathtub, two to six drops. Agitate the water or put a handful into some shampoo. Uh, um, uh, pour into the bath and agitate the water. I generally just put four or five drops in the stream as the bathtub is filling. In a spray bottle, a small spray bottle, 10 to 15 drops. In a large 10 to 15 ounce spray bottle, 20 to 30 drops. Uh, can't forget about essential oil massage. Uh, massage and therapeutic touch have long been a part of physical and emotional healing. Massage improves circulation, lymphatic drainage, and aids in the elimination of tissue waste. The oils bring peace and tranquility as well as uh, promote mental awareness. Massage opens and increases the flow of energy, balancing the entire nervous system and helping to release physical and emotional disharmony. Use a small amount of almond or grapeseed oil in the palm of your hand and add one to two drops of essential oils. Again, do not use almond oil uh, for people with nut allergies. Uh, it can be very therapeutic for the, the seniors, uh, the residents, and the staff providing it as well. So if you're providing an, a, a hand or foot massage, you're gaining uh, the uh, benefit of having those absorbed, those oils absorbed in, uh, through your skin as well. There are over 7,000 nerve endings in the feet. So the feet and the hands are great places for uh, essential oil massages. And most people will allow you to touch their feet and hands. Uh, which are uh, um, uh, less personal than other parts of the body. So you can see from, from, uh, from the drawing here uh, that everything from your brain to your pancreas to your esophagus, your kidney, stomach, you know, all of these things can be accessed uh, by certain pressure points on your feet. Same goes for the hands. These are the topical applications that can affect your body, you know, from your eyes, your ears, your hip, you know, your right and left lungs. Um, so, um, you know, experiment and, and see uh, uh, how these work. But uh, clearly, um, the, the application of essential oils, which has been used for thousands of years, uh, have uh, uh, significant therapeutic effects. I just want to go over some safety guidelines uh, for, for aromatherapy. Essential oils are highly concentrated. Less is more. So store away from heat and light in persons with Alzheimer's disease. Uh, rotate the oils to have a cumulative effect. Uh, these oils are not tested on pets, so um, I would not recommend using them. Uh, they're generally regarded as safe by the FDA. If you need to, dilute with honey, olive oil, or rice milk. Uh, you can dilute with vegetable oil as well if the skin becomes irritated. People with high blood pressure should consult their, their physician before using any essential oils especially those that stimulate, such as the citric, citric oils. Um, essential oils are rich in methanol, that's peppermint, should not be used on children under the age of three. Uh, oils with high phenol content can irritate the eye, such as cinnamon, thyme, lemongrass, and clove. Uh, those with allergies, just test a small amount of oil uh, on an area first to see if there's any reaction. 
Pregnant women should consult their healthcare professional before using essential oils. Also, the citrus oils of lemon, bergamot, orange, grapefruit, tangerine um, may cause a rash if applied to the skin uh, and then it's directly exposed to sunlight or UV radiation uh, even within two, three or four days. Finally, the, uh, the essential oil Bible, it's called the Essential Oil Desk Reference uh, from Essential Science Publishing, third edition, uh, is uh, a terrific resource. Um, you can find uh, uh, additional information and ebook also on essential oils that I've written uh, through um, uh, Amazon uh, Kindle at my website called uh, www.planetbenja.com. Um, also, I want to remind everyone the information contained in the presentation is for educational purposes only. It's not intended to diagnose, prescribe, or treat any condition of the body. The information contained herein should not be used as a substitute for medical counseling with a health professional of your choice. Um, I found the the best source uh, and most economical source uh, to order oils online can be done through youngliving.com and uh, their, uh, their web address is included below. Thank you for your time and uh, um, enjoy this incredible uh, opportunity to, uh, to provide some therapeutic benefit from, from uh, natural sources.